Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. So this week Cayman GT4 is at the Canadian Motorsport Park. Um, struggling quite a lot with this track. I just don't seem to have the grip that other people have. I don't know if it's because they did an update uh, to the cars uh, only a couple of days ago and maybe the setup I'm using isn't actually adjusted for the new update. Um, so I've qualified ninth. It did actually rank me 6th, so 9th isn't brilliant, but um, we'll see how we get on in this race. The, um, the times that I've been doing in practice have been in the 123, so 123.5 to 123.8, um, but actually when in the race it's kind of hard to tie that together. So just lining up here, let's get underway. I think we may have gained a spot straight away from this guy behind. So we'll just settle into this here. Why are these guys going so slowly? So I actually just slightly collided with the guy ahead of me. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of damage from that. Um, once again, he's really slow. I sort of feel like I'm being completely sandwiched right now from the guys behind me that are uber keen to get past and uh, the guys ahead that seem to be just going really really slow for some reason. Okay, just bunching up through here. Okay, so the good thing is we've created a bit of a gap behind us now. I don't know how much this damage will be affecting my top end though. I'm barely making much on him here. Just gonna go for a look. As I say, like he did qualify ahead of me, but he seems to be struggling to keep up with the others. And once again he's completely off his line there. Maybe he's just struggling a bit on his tires right now. Unfortunately it's given the car behind a real chance to close the gap. So I did mess up my quality slightly, uh, which may be why some of these people are a bit slower. Whew, car's really pushing out wide there. The guy on my left, he's all over the place. He's clearly made a mistake. I've gone for the inside, and he's closed the door immediately. Bit of a hectic start to this. bit wide. We should be okay here. So yeah, quite a uh, hectic first couple of laps. Um, ultimately, I'm hoping that we can close the gap again. Although I don't know if this damage is impacting our top end. So the gap's closed a bit, but I think we're still pretty far off the pace. I found this track really tricky, like sometimes you can just get it completely wrong like that. Um, on that drop of a corner, the ABS kicks in and your car just wants to understeer right off. I've gone a bit defensive there, this guy's now all over me. He's flashing his lights. I've completely messed that up as well. Take a really bad line out there, so he's going to have a bit of a run on me. And I've got the damage to my front, so probably not a good situation. He's closing. Here he comes. I don't really know if I even want to fight this, to be honest. I'm 
finding that I'm all over the place anyway. And I don't really want yet more damage, so I'll just let him go through. Ultimately, I can hope that perhaps he's going to catch the guy's head and I can get pulled along as well. Uh, but yeah, not a great start to this race. So try not to mess up the braking this time. It's a lot better. Kept it on the racing line. Oh, still is just feeling quite twitchy. I really don't think this setup is working that well uh, post the new update. Oh my god. Uh, so I just need to get an act together because I should put my wheel on the grass. Got this guy now behind me uh, under attack from him as well. I think it's one of those sort of things. Obviously I've got a bit of damage here. But at the same time, I've got a bit flustered um, and frustrated, and that's making me make mistakes. So I just need to take a breath, settle back into this, and try to ignore this guy behind me. He's going, he's tacking. And he's gone off. <laughs> okay, well, that was good. So I don't know if, if this is damage or just the fact that I'm a bit flustered. Uh, but I'm sort of a bit all over the place right now. Just need to settle back in. Zero point eight to this guy ahead. Oh, car's still all over the place through there. Oof, and there. get a good exit out here this time. Felt a bit better, I'm not really sure. The good thing is the pack up ahead is all pretty close so if we can just uh, settle back into it and if our damage isn't too bad um, we might be able to just get back up to the front and actually start competing. So the gap's definitely coming down a bit. Get a good exit out of here. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. Oh, he's lost it. He's sliding. Oh no. Oh my god. I literally saw that coming. I don't know why I didn't just slow down or take it a bit easy. Lost my rear wing. Okay, so here we are in race two. Uh, we've qualified seventh, uh, but it's actually ranked us 10th, so it's not too bad. Uh, and I think we've got real opportunity to go a lot faster. Did a 124 flat in quali, but I definitely can get into 123, so should be an interesting race. So we're just lining up here, getting ready to go. Got a guy to my side, I think. Can't really see him. Let's give a bit of space. I think he's dropped behind, so it's good. We just need to get moving here. I think we're already up to sixth, potentially. A few guys up ahead, tripping over each other a bit. So... 
couple of BMWs here. I've noticed the BMWs are quite quick at this track. I don't know if that's the new update or whether it's just suiting to this track for that car because it's quite a long straight. Right, all bunched up. Let's just get out of here, okay? So we've got pressure behind. I'm just trying to stay with this guy up ahead though. Tyres not fully gripping yet. Still not convinced with this setup either. It just feels a bit sketchy. And you almost have to turn in very early on this, this corner and the camber kind of helps you out on the exit. Oh, guy behind us just completely lost it. It's understeering here. It's a real tricky track this one. Okay, so just trying to stay with these guys. He's gone a bit wide, but he's stayed on the track. Oh no, he's gone. Car left. Okay, sky down. That's always uh, helpful for us. I do notice that the Porsches seem to be struggling at this track way more than the BMWs do. Uh, quite a few of the practice sessions I've been in, there's just people going off left, right and centre. Also, you'll notice the BMW behind me, they just have such good top end. Um, I don't know whether in the new update they just made the BMW a lot more powerful uh, as in like it's now gripping as well as the Porsche or the Porsche isn't gripping as well um, but the BMW clearly has power as an advantage. So opened a bit of gap there let's just try to close the gap to the guys ahead. Really tricky corner this one. You've got to come into it, brake a bit, but not lock up your brakes. That was sort of pretty textbook. Ooh, just got it slightly wrong there. Oh, clip that. Shouldn't really clip the inside curb, it makes the car go all over the place. And that is also let the BMW get right up behind us. Find this track is a bit like the Nürburgring. You kind of have to get one corner right and then the next corner flows after it. So the BMW straight line pace is just all over us here. It's not even worth me fighting it. I'll just let him go through. Um, Hopefully I could just tuck in behind him, but at the end of the day, the BMW just seems overpowered on this track. It's better that I let him ahead, I stay with him, we can catch the front runners together, or he can uh, put the front runners under pressure potentially, than uh, yeah, me just trying to uh, fight him. Good line through here. Car skipping all over the place through there. Trying to get a good run through here. Oh, oh no, I've clipped it again. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so third time's the charm. We're back at Canadian Motorsport Park again. 
Um, I definitely feel like I've got a good result in me. Um, in the practice sessions, I'm always able to get into the 23s. For whatever reason, I do my quality and I just mess it up slightly. Either way, in this race, at least we've got on third. Uh, so just behind the pace car now, I'm hoping that I'm not going to make a silly mistake like the last couple of races and um, we'll see what happens. So I'll just close the gap here. And we're off. So I definitely feel the inside line's got the advantage there, but the BMW just seems to have more go to it. The guys just literally pull past me. So I should just settle in behind them. I'm sort of not really used to following the BMWs that much. Um, they probably take a slightly different line. So I've got to be careful with that. So that guy's just gone a little bit wide, but closed the gap again. Oh, he's just backed me up slightly though. So it'll be nice just to get into a nice rhythm with this. Thank you for doing the work. Focus on your exits. Problem is the BMW, at least on this track, it just seems to have such legs on this long straight. Just got this guy pressure me a little bit behind. I found with this first corner there's a really unusual early turn in, at least in the Cayman. It took me ages to figure that out. Equally with this, there's a really early turn in. You just have to be so careful on the brakes as well. I'm never really sure whether it'd be in fourth or third through that one. Keeping quite nice with these guys at the moment. Under a slight bit of pressure behind, but not too much. So I must say on the new update that came out, um, the tyres do not die like they used to, which is great to see. Uh, so it means that you can actually push pretty hard on these tyres the whole race, which is fantastic. Um, the car does move around a lot more, I think, uh, as you can sort of see. We're sort of constantly squirming all over the place, but that's kind of good, actually. And um, you want it to be a car that you can push to the edge and actually have the car kind of balanced there. It's one of the complaints a lot of people have against eye racing where they say that uh, as soon as the car starts slipping you basically have lost it and I think actually with the new tyre model and at least this update it sort of proves on this track at least we'll see how it goes on others but it proves that um, you can have it in a nice way where it's on the edge and you can actually keep pushing it. Um, as I say, it sort of seems that they've fixed a lot of the issues. So the qualifying thing, there probably is still an exploit, but I haven't noticed it as much. Um, equally, yeah, the tyres don't seem to be dropping off that much towards the end. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this is going to be a good thing for future races.
So my only concern for the future races are these BMWs. They uh, definitely had good tyre wear before and they've definitely got the straight end, uh, straight power. Um, but they always seem to be lacking in the corners a bit. Uh, but I've definitely noticed on this track since the new update their tyres also got a tweak. I feel like they've just been given a bit more grip. I know it sounds like a driver's excuse, but I got this set up and practiced before the new update, and I'm just not convinced that this setup's that good post the update. It just doesn't really feel that planted. It's very twitchy. just slightly keeping up with these BMWs. Unfortunately, it's 1.1 seconds, so probably not going to be getting a uh, toe around the track, but at the moment, I'm keeping up. Oh, sweat slightly wide there. Looks like P6 has gone off in turn one. So gaps 1.1, however on this straight, and they're just going to get away again. So last lap was in the 123s, which is good to see. Feel like I'm starting to close the gap a bit. So I don't know if it is my setup, but just everything feels off on this track. There's so many weird cambers everywhere. Uh, the car just seems to be bouncing and gripping in some places and not gripping in others. It really makes it quite tricky to go quick. So the gap's maintaining 
quite nice at about 1, 1 1.1 seconds. Um, it's actually quite nice just to have a, a race where you can just settle into it a bit, um, not being pressured a lot, um, obviously not making mistakes. So try to use fourth there, for some reason the traction control kicked in. I uh, don't know if that's just the tyres getting a bit too hot, but I've not really had that before. Unfortunately that's given them a little bit of a chance to get away. Ooh, slightly pushed wide there, but got it back on again. So one thing I've noticed that the car and the tyres still suffer massively from, if you go on the grass, if you go anywhere near um, the dirt, you'll just slide off immediately uh, so they clearly haven't fixed that part of the tyres yet and unfortunately it just looks like those BMWs just getting away from us um, we're just gonna have to run our own race I think I don't think we've got any chance to really catch them a few moments later okay so just about to cross the line I think we're going to get third. Well done, Paul. Great drive. That's a podium. So great to actually get a result. Um, it was a boring race, uh, but you can't always have good races. Okay, so the great news of this result gave us some really good championship points. Uh, looking at the series standing so far, we're actually running third, so we've got a good chance in this series actually to maybe win it overall. Uh, I just need to improve some of my consistency and not make silly mistakes. So even though we've had a great result from a championship point of view, unfortunately my safety rating and I rating have absolutely taken a hit this week. If you've enjoyed this video and it's first time here, please subscribe. Otherwise smash that like button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks everybody.